Tonight, booster doses are one step closer for some who received the Moderna vaccine. The FDA's advisory panel unanimously voted in favor of boosters for those age 65 and up. People age 18 to 64 at higher risk for severe COVID because of other medical issues and those with a higher risk of exposure on the job or in certain institutions. The FDA will now take that recommendation under advisement and make a decision on whether to authorize that booster dose. It would then go to the CDC for consideration. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge has been following today's meeting closely. He joins us live. Uh, Frank, one thing I found interesting is that Moderna's booster is only a half a dose. Why is that? Well, you know, Kim, Moderna actually gave a higher dose than Pfizer did initially, which may help explain why its protection is held up a little better. Oh. Now, Moderna says, though, their research finds a half dose would deliver the same boost in protection as a full dose would, potentially with a lower risk of side effects, and it would also ultimately really help stretch the global vaccine supply. Doc, how would that work, by the way? Would Moderna need to ship out new vaccine doses for those boosters? Well, no, actually, the boosters would come from the vials that are already available. Vaccine providers would just need to draw out half the dose if they're giving a booster. But it's important to note, immunocompromised people, they should still receive a full dose of their third shot. So obviously, this is going to potentially cause a little bit of confusion. Mm -hmm. If the booster is authorized, Moderna actually plans to launch an educational campaign for vaccine providers, as well as a 24-hour call center for support. Yeah. So, Doug, tomorrow it's uh, Johnson & Johnson's turn to make its case for a booster. You told us a little bit at 5. What can we expect from that meeting tomorrow? Well, you know, Johnson & Johnson is likely to face some pretty tough questions. The FDA has raised some issues with Johnson & Johnson's data and one of the tests that they used in particular. Now, that said, panelists have expressed concern in the past that J&J &J recipients do not have the same level of protection as people who received mRNA vaccines, so the desire to recommend a booster may actually be higher. The panel is also going to hear data on the study by the National Institutes of Health that looked at the results of mixing and matching booster doses. Mm -hmm. That research actually found J&J &J recipients might get a better boost from a Moderna or Pfizer shot. And you can expect that presentation to be of high interest to both the panel and the public. Most definitely yeah. interesting. And we know you'll continue to follow it for us. Dr. McGeorge, we appreciate it.